All right, now we're entering the fun part, parameters. Basically the helicopter setup. And we've spent a lot of time and effort giving you some great values to work with for starting out. So we're gonna say yes. It says basically, please ensure helicopter's hardware setting has been completed before making any changes to flight parameters. That's what we've been doing. So we've done the setup for the helicopter. We've got our 13 degrees of pitch, what I've set up on my helicopter. You can set up whatever you like in your helicopter. Eight degrees of cyclic as required uh, for your initial starting point with the G-Pro. And setting up all the endpoints, making sure that the radio is calibrated uh, with what the G-Pro sees as 100-100 on all the endpoints. We've done that. So now we're going in here and you're going to see a whole bunch of things. You have, to, you have your swash plate, flight response, flight agility, swash gain, cyclic expo, cyclic dead band, elevator pre-comp. Those are just some of the features you see there. You also see on the tail you have uh, tail pyro rate, rudder gain, rudder expo, uh, rudder dead band, tail acceleration, uh, I mean, uh, rudder right stop, rudder left stop, so you can actually set up how hard you want it to stop on the left and right side to try and uh, uh, get it to be identical on each side. Uh, and also, you have rudder P gain, rudder I gain, and then you have torque pre-comp on collective to tail and cyclic to tail. Uh, you, on this side here, you have the nitro. Again, we're not going to cover that in this video, but uh, we do have helicopter size. In this case, we're using large because it's the T-Rex 700E DFC. Uh, but we also have, for smaller helicopters from 250 to 450, we would select that. We also have a beginner setting here. So if you're not a, necessarily a 3D pilot, you're more of a sport flyer, we've already got some general parameters. You click apply. And what you'll notice is, if you look right here, this is 80, 80, 80 on your flight response, watch what's going to happen. Those get pulled back, 60, 60, your swash gain gets turned up to 100%, giving you a little more stability, more locked in feel. Um, again, this is great if you're just starting out and uh, if you're, uh, or if you're just a sport flyer and you're not really into, you know, real high speed uh, 3D, this is a great setting to start with. You can go in here and tweak this on the fly and you don't need to uh, redo what we've already done as far as the setup, as far as our endpoints and all that. All you have to do is come in here to the parameters menu and make adjustments as you see fit. So right now though, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click the uh, reset button here. I'm going to say yes, reset. And that's going to take it back to the default setting. I'm running the default parameters. So I'm going to go ahead and say yes. And on this side as well, reset. And those are the settings that are actually in your gyro right now when we click reset. Uh, if you want to save these settings, all you got to do is click here. And then in the align uh, G Pro parameters file, I can just say this is my T Rex 700E DFC model here. And put the date, which is uh, July 7, 3, 14, and we'll click save. I've saved the parameters for the helicopter here, and in the setup menu I can do the same thing. So I have my setup for this helicopter. Uh, I can say this is the setup for T-Rex 700E DFC G Pro. And now I have the settings saved. So when I come back in and I want to make any adjustments, let's say I disconnect it from my helicopter. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll close that out. I'll disconnect the, uh, the unit from the G-Pro. I'm going to go ahead and I'll replug that, replug that in. Power up my G-Pro. I'm going to give it power. And then I'll launch the software here. And so, yes, that's fine. I'm going to launch the software and we're connected. We can go in the setup menu. Do we want to create new settings? No, we've already got the settings stored. They're stored in the G Pro. So we have all that. We can, we can scroll through the menu here if we like. 
make sure that's everything that we said. We reversed here. See, it took that reading directly from the G Pro unit. I didn't make any changes here. Goes in here, 3, 5, 14, 53. Again, the values are stored in the G Pro. So, you know, it's, it does it automatically. It automatically saves. It's inside of the G Pro, those parameters, unless you tell it otherwise. Again, we had made changes on the negative. We were at negative 39, positive 25, and then our cyclic pitch to get 8 degrees, we were at 120. That's all saved. So we don't, you know, we're, I'm just showing you so that way you can see all the parameters have been stored and uh, there's no point where you have to click save. The only reason why I chose save up here is just so I have the parameters in the computer. If I want to pull those back up and make adjustments, I can do that without uh, any problem. So there's that. There's the tail. Go here to the tail. Right rudder, left rudder. And let's go here. Next. And then enter parameters menu. So go into parameters menu again. Uh, ensure helicopter harvest setting has been complete before. Yes. Okay. So again, these are the stock parameters. They're stored in the G Pro. And uh, if you want to make any adjustments, you can do this here with your computer. Or uh, we have an optional device. I'll show you that device. It's called the uh, BTH-01. It's this little guy right here. And so if you want to go to the field and you want to use Bluetooth on your phone or your iPhone or your Android, you can use this. And the menus look very similar to what you've seen here, just that they're single stacked, meaning that you'll just see this one and then you'll see this and then this as far as on your phone. So you can make changes at the field very easy if you want to but the stock parameters are great for getting started. So I hope this showed you how to uh, do the bind process with Spectrum. Uh, again, with the Futaba, the bind process is as simple as binding your receiver. You connect in the uh, SBUS uh, wire into the G Pro unit. Again, that's right here, bottom. You plug that wire right in here and you're ready to go. Only thing you need to do is go into your setup menu. So do ensure that you use a swash leveler, that you uh, set your pitch according uh, to your needs, but your cyclic will be eight, uh, you set your zero, and uh, you're gonna be very pleased with the performance with the G Pro. And I hope you like the software. Uh, again, we uh, worked on this quite a while to get it right, and uh, hope you enjoy the flight performance you'll receive. Uh, this is Jeff Fassbinder signing off for Align with the new G Pro interface software 1.1 and on this great new flybarla system thanks for watching if you have any questions please feel free to look at www.align.com.tw thanks for watching